Welcome, I'm Ken Fondre, Tenjutsu Master and Mystic Ninja. Again, everything that I share and say and do is for a reason, okay? Please pay attention. If this sounds like a contradiction in my material, there is not. I cannot stress that enough. There is wonderful keys throughout these videos, especially, hopefully, if I can get this out right, in this video you're watching now, okay? Please be present. If it's if it seems random, okay, keep going over all these videos. <clears throat> Those who have really been seeking truth, you would have been see, uh, receiving revelations, numbers like 11, 11, 33, 88, symbolism, allegories, great revelations in um, understanding the Bible in connection with your own experience and with the things that's going on in the world, okay? So if it does seem random, it's not. It's for a reason. I cannot stress that enough. If you have a religious belief system, you're not going to like some of the visual aids that I'm going to use in this video, okay? You must get out of your paradigms. You've got to unlearn everything and relearn again and be open to all sorts of schools of thought and imagery, symbolism, new precepts, okay? If you are stuck in a particular paradigm, indoctrination, you're going to turn away from the most precious jigsaw puzzle piece of gold and keys from spirit. I cannot stress that enough. Right. So first of all, I'm going to show you something quick and then I'm going to talk about it, right? In fact, I'm going to do it this way. I do apologise. Right. So if you've been following me, I've been showing you images like this. OK, this happened before the end of last year <clears throat> and I showed you this. OK, then I showed you this. And this. All right. Then I talked about this. Now I'm going to show something. <clears throat> really powerful I urge you to pause this put it all together go do your own investigation but before I show you the should we say the main image I want to show you in this video I, I'm just going to show you this okay now pay attention to this all right feel free to pause it Right. I'm going to talk a bit more about that in a minute. Then I'm going to show you some images. Don't worry if it just goes over your head, right? This was in the Netflix um, show, uh, not show, movie, um, 1899, okay? If you paid attention, there was an end scene, okay? Then I'm going to show you this image. This is from Wayne Herschel, right? For a near-death experience, all right? This was in... Assassin's Creed Van Halla. Again, I said that there's truth drops in video games, movies, music videos, poetry. It's everywhere. Okay. You need to turn to the true mystic Christ that I am, that I am in you. The Father, the Mother, and the Son, the Word, and the Living Holy Spirit, God in you. Okay. To ask for your eyes to see. There was this imagery. Okay in Assassin's Creed Van Halla. Just look at the imagery, okay, like a symbol. And the last one I'm gonna show you is this. All right. 
and we are looking excuse me for an, for an event and I've got some cards to show you now okay not many people as soon as I put these up if you've got a religious back, uh, belief system you you're gonna turn off straight away okay so again I'm not here to tell you future this is not about divination etc these cards are from very wise men talking about an eternal truth you must be willing to look behind the veil okay behind the veil you see the veil behind the high prince uh, pre, uh, priestess okay the two pillars notice that all right then the death card all right where there's death there's birth 13 then there's this all right notice the x we've been getting x flares all right notice the t all right there's eternal truths here if you do not understand the symbolism in these which is revealed in the scripture about the temple of God and you're paying attention to the material world the black goo okay and going along with the narratives you, you're putting yourself up against the lamb and the wolf that's in you okay and hence you're going to end up hurting yourselves then there's this which is also revealed in a music video recently um out should i say okay and then this all right notice the moon okay what appears to be the moon but it could be something else okay Let me go back here and point there all right but because She's blind, she's holding two swords. Guard your heart with all your diligence, for out of it is the issues of life. My people die for lack of knowledge. It says in scripture, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Man falls on his sword. Because this, here, if I can get the image so you can see it all, is about what's going on in here. Judgment must begin at the house of God, and we are that house. This is the temple of God. This is a star map and a map of the spiritual realm that's in the temple. As above, so below. As within, so without. You cubic reality, you heaven and earth. It's a star map. It's a what I'm revealing here is truths about who you are as an angel that's coming to the host body system all right we have to go through the eyes of the lamb we start off as first adam and we're going to flip to the heavenly adam putting on eternity with wisdom okay and hence we're looking for the door jesus christ said i am the door i am the way i am the life i am the bread all right <clears throat> Here, as I've shown you with Pleiades, the cast const star constellation, right? Orion spout, okay? We saw the blood moons. This is a mirror, okay? With Pleiades. This is the feminine and masculine, okay? They need to be joined together. You do this with the Father by building your eternal heavenly home. And you do the investments by turning to the spirit man within it. There's three verses. Did you invest in the spirit man? This goes to the parable of the tenants. Did you invest in the Christ that's in you? Did you seek wisdom? Where you knew, where you come into the realization and revelation of the I am that I am. Okay. It's for signs and for seasons. And so we were to get a house in order and see the signs. Okay. That. The signs is revealing that the signs are revealed in scripture through allegories, symbols, 
that we pay attention to God's glory handiwork in the firmament to the works that's been done in us where whereby we got our thought word and deed in order and we focus towards a wonderful future for he said it's not my will to hurt you but to prosper you with a wonderful future in your scripture he says do not let your human leaders boast for all things are yours whether poor or polar cephas the world life or death or the present or the future you're in christ and christ is in god but it's got to be in here okay and so christ is the door we got to figure out the i am that i am the alpha and omega okay the feminine and masculine and bring heaven and earth together as one all right and we go we go through a, a lot through the fire all right and when we get when we have joined the two together within ourselves okay and we've gone through the fires of affliction all right a lot of souls are coming into the system we are then going to rise as phoenix okay remember Fos temple i mentioned about in my previous videos okay you're a star angel the alpha and omega putting on eternity the blood moons the mirror that i showed you before last year on the 1st of January, this side over the years from 2017, there was these eclipses, there's been blood moons. Well, after the 1st of January, it's um, it happens again. It happens again in complete reverse, like a mirror. All right. And when their first eclipse happens this side in 2024 onwards, it's the same number of days from the eclipse that happened before the January the 1st. This was the mirror. Okay, the middle. Did you invest in spirit? This is what we were warning about. Okay, we knew an event was coming and lots of events should have come and happened. And we didn't understand why. It is rehearsal for the big one. Okay, that we'd find the door. That we'd find the Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ in us, understanding who we are as the angels, right? Christ says he comes with his angels. It's all about the angels because with the imagery that I've been showing you, we've come into the simulation. The <clears throat> okay, no one's ever gone to heaven, but he who descended from heaven, who is in heaven. Now go over the imagery that I shared with you. Okay, we're here for a reason, going through the eyes of the Lamb building our eternal heavenly home from the foundation of the world okay and we're here to shine our light and give truth and help man into the adoption into the body of christ into truth okay that they would realize that they are star born and angels you're an archangel all right you're the temple of god our god is the invisible light love and spirit wisdom and power intelligence of the highest kind as it's revealed to us in the bible the image of god is the christ that's formed in us as told in the bible i travel with you again in birth until christ be formed in you and it says christ jesus christ is the visible image the visible image of love wisdom and power all right of the father but there's also a mother and a she for she is the tree of life mentioned in the bible all right the one it's the masculine and feminine as one okay all the religious belief systems they have symbolism that goes together to reveal this all right because when you understand this you can understand this your conscious and subconscious all right heaven and earth masculine and feminine you can understand the cycles, the mirrors, the patterns. All right. And so we start to invest by getting our thought word indeed in order. Whereby you are now. All right. The magician. I see. I see if you make sure you can get a clear 
view of this picture. 17, the star. All right. It's not easy because you're going to end up being cast out when you start seeking these truths. OK, when you turn away from the world, you're going to be like this for a bit. It has to because like it attracts like like is known to like alone and people so engrossed in the great deception of the world. You need to clear that away so you can receive the precepts upon precepts, line upon line, here a little, there a little. All these jigs and puzzle pieces of gold. There is so much to take in from spirit. You're not going to be able to do it if you're still so engrossed in the things of the world. OK, if you're still invested in that, when you can recreate the world within here by understanding thyself, know thyself. And for my people die for lack of knowledge, as mentioned in the scripture. OK. You hold a light. Again, the rod is your spine. The, the um, staff of Moses. OK. Because this is coming, all right? Remember, I talked about my previous video not long ago. I saw a shooting star coming down, all right? Because Jesus Christ says, I'm coming to reward those who have done the work. Because you have a choice. Light, life, okay? A new reality, a new future to prosper you with the fruits of the spirit. Or you remain in Sheol, Sodom, Egypt, okay? In them states where there is decay, all right? A displaced mind. But if you find yourself down there, again, you can even flip it, all right? Instantly by repenting straight away. OK, by turning away from this world and humbling yourself and saying to the Christ in you, to spirit, forgive me. All right. I want to know the truth. Lift the scales from my eyes. All right. I've been part of the 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 Leviathan's system. I know that I wear the serpent skin. OK, I, I was I have been a rebellious demon, as we are told we are. And yet God says, oh, I know you're rebellious. But he forgives us. You were ordained to experience this. OK, it says God has consigned all to disobedience that through one man they sin, sin and through another they are redeemed. We are the angels that come down into the host body system. And as it says in the Bible, this is not about human origins. Go over the imagery I've been sharing you. This is not from a human perspective. This is only a matrix, a host body system. We're here for a reason. OK, and we're turning away from all the vials and should we say the attitudes and, mind and states of mind. That's fear. I'm talking about war, conflict, profanities and all the corruption that we see in the world. You have a choice. OK, you have a choice because you hold the key to the vault of heaven. All right. You don't have to accept this. The, the the world you get understanding about this all right and there's so much more to all this i'm only giving you a basic insight into all this all right you hold you you have the key and the door as we're told in the scripture go over these previous videos if you are seeking something different from the presentation of the world because it's it's Everyone's going along with the narratives. They're all singing the same song and frequency. But the 144,000, we sing a new song. OK, a new nature, a new way of thinking. OK, a, a new state of being. And we don't have to accept this. All right. As we're told in the scripture. So we don't play along and we don't sing to that tune. We sing a new tune that they do not understand or know. And it's coming from a place of love, the fruits of the spirit, the wonderful virtues by getting a thought word indeed in order and by using our imagination to unlock the vault. And we've been investing for a long time. I share this as a witness to the father and to the truth. I'm here to glorify my father and the truth. Guys, 
I am very humble and grateful to bear witness to spirit giving this to you on this platform for whoever is going to come across it and drink from the well. All credit goes to the true Christ, the true living Lord Jesus Christ, which is the son that's formed in you, where you are the image of the invisible God, the father, mother and son, the word that you are in spirit, in light and in love truth the true holy the, the true holy trinity is the father mother and word son and god in the middle the whole lot okay excuse me a minute so i'm going to show you some imagery again now remember in scripture he says i have many mansions if it was not so i would have told you what are the mansions we are the mansions let me show you some images again all right <clears throat> no one has ever gone to heaven but he who descended from heaven who is himself in heaven And the Netflix movie, 1899. I have said that the Bible is a puzzle. It's for God to consider a thing. It's for the kings to seek it out. He's the door. Okay. <clears throat> we are looking for an event that's coming. And we've been getting solar flashes. Okay. Solar, no, not so, um, solar flashes. Solar flares. X flares. Right. I showed you here. And they were happening. At a, uh, uh, they were happening in a pattern. Okay. With a sequence. All right. <clears throat> Did you meet Christ in the middle? Alpha and Omega, right? Realizing that the cross is your body. Did you pick up your cross daily and turn to him? All right. Excuse me. Did you find the Stargate? All right. Did you pay attention to what spirit has been given through these videos the egyptians were revealing the stargate where is the stargate between the eyes the penal gland the scarab is the mind look at the scarab in the netflix movie 1899 shows you the way okay to get off the ship the sinking ship to find the exit see what i'm saying all right here is a powerful key. Look at the symbolism. Go do your own homework and investigation. A lot of this was also put together, um, should we say, this side by Wayne Herschel. And I have been following him for, well, I've come across his material many years ago. And Spirit has been giving me these symbols and these imagery, these allegories, these precepts. I can't stress enough that the symbolism helped lift the veil. Okay. I went into the ancient texts, the Egyptian hieroglyphs, into the Emerald Tablets of Foth, Enoch, the Apocrypha. Uh, I even looked into the demonology side of things, into Wicca, shamanism. And through doing so, I got to understand what the scripture was truly saying, because it's an amygna. Again, he says it's for God to conceal thing for the, it's for God to conceal a matter and the kings to seek it out. And we are the kings. And hence, the scripture is a puzzle, an amygna. The only way you can unlock it is by seeking God. And he says, no one seeks me. No one understands. All right. The only way that you can also also unlock that bible is through god 
he tells you that too. Hence, he says, seek the depths of spirit. But no one does. And they, they fall by the indoctrination of churches and they just confess, yeah, Jesus Christ is the truth. He's fulfilled all this. There's more to it than that. Because you have to bear witness to Christ being formed in you. Right? If you do not bear witness and testimony that Christ is in you, in the flesh, come in your flesh, here present, then you're an antichrist, as it says in the scripture. Blessed is he who comes in his name. Are you are you shining the light and come in his name? I am that I am, and by the grace I am that I am. Okay, as mentioned in the scripture. Do you confess that the Lord Jesus Christ is sorry, the Father has given his only son who died for our sins that the Father raised him up three days later? Is he rising in you? Is the Lamb's blood sprinkling your consciousness where you are now a new creature and a new creation with no guilt, no shame and no judgment towards this world whereby you are separated from the law? Okay, knowing who you are as an angelic being, that this was not real. Hence, you should know the truth and the truth was not. Sorry. Hence, you should know the truth and the truth should set you free. I'm rushing. What I've shown you in this video is very powerful. If you go over my previous videos, okay, even though go over them all if you can in your spare time, listen to it in a bath, in your car, or whenever. Wonderful jigsaw puzzle piece of gold, which will lead up to this video that I'm doing right now. Because what I'm revealing here is very powerful. All from the Father the mother and the son, the word, our invisible living spirit, who's a bubble through all and in all, the all in all. You are the temple of God. And hence you hold the door and the key, which the Egyptians were telling us. And there's many other depictions that I've talked about in my previous videos. Okay. A stargate between the eyes here. The seat of God, you need to cast out, okay, the Antichrist and put the Christ here. For he says, I am the way, I am the life, I am the bread, I am the door, the gate. As I've mentioned in um, the Book of Mysteries by Jonathan Carr, there is an ancient scroll that literally the Lord Jesus Christ equated down to the portal in ancient translations when i had seen that i knew i don't know what it was i just knew i knew it was here everyone looks outside there for portals but the portals and the stargates that's been left on the checkerboard if you pay attention you'll see a man you see all the symbolism and the allegories pointing here but everyone's looking for a god outside there they're fooled by the screen hence it says even the elect will be deceived if it were possible because people keep looking outside there. Out there should only be a reflection of what's going on here. And we didn't like this presentation, this realm that we were in. And so the angels come into a system to shine the light and say no. Because it says all you need to do is simply say yay or nay. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. So you can shine your light by getting knowledge and wisdom. You can affect the all because you are part of the all in all. And so the angel Christ comes in the 144,000, the dragon man the star man, the Orion man, okay? There's a depiction of Christ. Let's see if I can do it, right? A picture of Christ, a secret, a secret. Let's see if I can do this, right? You put your sleeve over there. You'll see a picture of Christ in, um, let's see if I can do this quick, right? Like this, right? And then your arms are folded underneath. You'll see a picture of Christ like that, right? And then these three stars behind its head of Christ. Because Jesus Christ in the literature, in the mysteries, is teaching about the Orion man, the star man, angel, archangel, you where you're from. I say this to help you, set you free 
from the great deception okay the cross you you literally hold your hands like that you put the sleeves over all right and it literally makes okay this yeah all right the cross and the line it's orion ryan from the dog star series up to ryan through the ball the eye of the ball up to the three stars of the seven sisters pleiades the feminine and masculine hence the obelisk the phallus from the earth to the heaven you are the angel bringing your heavenly state stitching with the serpent through the needle the sword of truth heaven and earth as one i am that i am okay this is the key to create your wonderful future with god turn away from this world and say i want that i am that i am not that i say no to that do you not have then the power and free will in god in the with the father the mother the son to go forward to a future that's going to prosper you by trusting in the spirit he's part of your i amness your consciousness your imagination your mind your source your soul he's present he's the invisible god they do this sign <clears throat> you might have seen this when they do this it's pointing to this the the three stars suns around the seven sisters and orion's belt orion's man the orion man the dragon the serpent because we got to restore the garden of eden adam and eve the masculine and feminine together as one again growing a tree with wisdom for she is the tree of life so our serpent we're in serpent skin in the leviathan's system and so but we've been cut down mentioned in the book of enoch to the stump which is where jesse comes out the stump the root of jesse which is the lineage to jesus christ that these forms in us he says i am the vine all right he's going to be the tree the serpent then rises up the tree with adam and eve all locked in one within you he says i make no the end from the beginning what was the beginning adam and eve but it's all destroyed and you have to be it has to be built up again in the expansion of yourself in the realization of yourself as a sentient being as an angel coming back into the remembrance and truth who you are as the fallen angel into a host body system knowing that you also have a body elsewhere but you're here building your eternal heavenly home there is a reason why we are here do you see what i'm saying and this is why i'm sharing all this imagery and these eternal truths of this journey the nature of this world and where we're from where we're from why we're here what's going on and where we're going it was it was depicted in symbolism allegories in these cards in the bible in the apocrypha in the emerald tablets of foth in the egyptian hieroglyphs in movies music videos the truth is all around there's no excuse you either turn to the world in the black goo and be eaten by chronos time and keep going around in the on the ferris wheel in the matrix in Sheil, sodom e eden uh, sorry the world of caesar sodom Sheil. All right that's this should we say the presentation of this realm and age through the angel of the pit frequency through man the first man adam cain where we all play as wolves okay and it's funny that jesus he says i'm going to send you okay as messages amongst the wolves i'm sending you out to do this work amongst the wolves be as wise as a serpent gentle as the doves that should tell you that we are the wolves okay if you don't if you're not woken up yet if you listen to the language he's he's telling calling us all wolves you see what i'm saying i'm sending you like sheep among the wolves that's it paraphrasing okay because that's the first state we start off with the hunter all right 
it's all there but there's a flip we go from the first adam cain earthly man image the beast to the heavenly man christ the angel hence i come with my angels right in the body in a vesture full of blood he rises in 144,000 that's not number of people that's those who who are waking up in the realization of the star beings in the host body system that's going to rule in the new age going the new future serving the christ day and night now said enough i'm trying to help and shout out the best i can all right go over this imagery go do your own homework and investigation it's all from spirit not from me i couldn't put this stuff together okay those who truly know me know that i could put this stuff together it's all from the true christ the lord jesus christ that's in me that's been formed in me okay through wisdom hence the white hair going through the furnace of affliction with the serpent sandals that I took off turned into the burning bush that's in here okay it's all allegorical it's all symbolic and it's all about this because you are the temple of god you should know the truth and the truth set you free and in christ you are free indeed all right I'm all glory to spirit to the father mother to the word the son and god the living holy spirit i'm ken of andre tango jutsu master a mystic ninja all from i am love you guys